Oddity 2 now comes as an effects version, which means you can process audio via things like the three filters and the envelope repeat parameters. Although you can use Oddity 2 effects as an insert effect, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to use it as an AU MIDI controlled effect within Logic, and then treat a simple drum loop. Firstly, here's the untreated drum loop on a Logic Audio track. Now we add another track, this time an audio instrument track directly underneath our drum loop track. Then we add Oddity 2 effects via the AU MIDI controlled effects menu. Now via the side chain, we select the track which contains our drum loop before muting the actual drum loop track. Now we have to make sure that the audio passes through Oddity 2, but obviously we don't want any of the Oddity 2's oscillators playing, so the best thing to do is load Oddity 2's effects bank called XFX Audio Input. Then via the patch list, we'll load a random patch from that, say 4035 1 bar gate 02. Finally, we need to record a note on the audio instrument track. So let's actually draw that in for, say, eight bars. Now this note effectively opens the gate so that when we hit play, we'll hear our process drum loop. Now there are 64 patches in this audio input bank that you can choose from, but why not get your hands dirty and find what works for you? You can also use the envelope re-triggering options combined with the onboard LFO for some great gate effects. You can use the XLFOs and XADSRs to control things like filter cutoff. If you want to mix this affected version with the original drum track, all you need to do is unmute that and balance the raw and affected tracks accordingly. Finally, if you feel the need to introduce some Oddity 2 oscillators as well, simply move the sliders in the audio mix section up and just tweak to suit. Don't forget too, because you can record notes on an audio instrument track, you can create entirely new parts to suit the sound you come up with. 